Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So what I have for you today is a SIG P365. This particular P365 actually went through a thousand round review. So if you haven't checked that out already, definitely do so, it's held up great. And it's got another few hundred rounds through it now, so it's time for good cleaning. So let's go ahead, take her inside. I'm gonna show you guys how to take her apart and get her cleaned up. So before we dive right into the cleaning, let me show you guys what you'll need to get this job done. A lot of the stuff I've been using for many years and it works really well and a lot of it you can buy right on Amazon. I'll put the links down below in the description for what I can find. But to start, you may want to invest in a gun cleaning mat. This is an old Breda 92 by Tech Mat. This will help protect whatever surface you are cleaning the guns on. And for the oil today, I've been using this clean lubricant preservative called Break Free CLP. I've been using this, using this again for years and years. No issues at all. It's a nice kind of a mild oil cleaner and it doesn't really hurt your hands too much or anything like that. But if you do want, you could wear gloves and I do recommend that typically um, to kind of protect your hands from these oils. And of course, I do have a little spray bottle here. This will help disperse the oil a little bit. Again, it's CLP. You will need some patches. These are two inch uh, patches designed specifically for nine millimeter and pistols alike. These are made of cotton, but you can also use uh, cut up cotton t-shirts if you want to go that route, a little bit cheaper, something readily available. Going over here, you have a very fancy toothbrush. Again, real cheap part. This will help kind of scrub some of the nooks and crannies, break up some of the debris in here so we can wipe it away. And kind of in a similar format, these are polymer picks. Again, right on Amazon, these are designed to get in those real tight spaces that your fingernails can't get to with the patches. Kind of clean it up a little bit better. And over here we have a free spinning with a screw adapter on the end here, a uh, actual bore cleaner uh, push rod. So this actually is designed to use adapters like this right here, which is a nine millimeter brass wire brush or a patch pull through piece right here. And uh, optional options you might want to consider are a bore snake instead of this setup right here. These work really well, they're a little more expensive. This is designed for 9mm N38 357. This is right from CZ for the CZ Scorpion. These are pull through, they're a combination of rope as well as brass pieces right here. So there's a brass brush kind of built into it. Work really well to kind of swab that barrel out. For really tough jobs, I used to use this all the time. I kind of don't need it as much anymore. The CLP does a great job. Hops number nine is a bore cleaner. It's a little more potent, definitely want to wear gloves, but it works to kind of get the really hard gunked on debris in there out of there uh, for the bore as well as any of the pieces around the slide. So if you have a really dirty up, maybe like an AR, you might want to hit it with hops first to kind of loosen up that debris there. So without further ado, let's get into the cleaning. So very first step is to make sure your firearm is unloaded. All right, take the mag out, lock the slide back, make sure there is nothing in that chamber. All right, check everything, you're good to go, nice and safe. Now SIG has made this firearm very easy to take apart. You're gonna lock the slide back, flip this lever down, release the slide with that button, and this is going to slide right off, okay? So now you have your frame, go ahead and take apart your guide rod assembly your barrel, and this is about as deep as you need to go for a basic field strip and cleaning. You could take out this pin here. If you check out my thousand round review, I'll show you guys how to take out the firing pin, but you don't necessarily have to do that every cleaning. All right, so now that you have this apart, we're gonna go ahead and take our CLP spray. And what I like to do is actually just kind of spray all the pieces, the rails. Again, this little spray ball you can see, Makes it nice and easy for a nice line. Spray a little oil right down the barrel. And when you're spraying, you do not want to have the firing pin open like that. See that little hole there? That is your firing pin. You want to spray down, all right? And now what I'm gonna do is take my toothbrush, and just in case this is really gunked up, I'm gonna go ahead and just start scrubbing. Get in all the crannies you can with the toothbrush. You can already see it's kind of melting away there, all that oil. Now the toothbrush, of course, is already dirty, like you might have seen, so it's not going to be something that is gonna matter as much as cleaning it, as much as it is to break up all that debris in there for cleaning and wiping away. All right, now the bolt face right here where the actual firing pin is in that hole right there. Go ahead and like I said, point it down and hit that pretty lightly. Usually it's not too bad. All right, barrel, 
Do a quick scrub. A lot of this is gonna get cleaned up pretty easily with a patch anyways. But some of those nooks and crannies, as you can see, have plenty of debris in there. And guide rod is typically not too bad. Go ahead, scrub it in there. You can kind of see all the oil is coming off now. Rails on the frame, they get pretty gunked up. All right, right in here, it's gunked up. So do a quick scrub. All right, so now that it's scrubbed, before we do anything with the barrel, we can start with what we can with the patches here. All right, so what we're gonna do is start wiping down. All right, whatever we can get with just our hands to start, that'll help wipe up most of the debris and dirt and grime that's built up. And you can see these patches, you're gonna start rolling through pretty quickly. Uh, they don't last very long. You can clean the mag well out if you want. You can spray some oil in there. If it gets really dirty, maybe every few cleanings or something like that, you can go ahead, spray some oil in there, clean it up. Do as much as you can with your fingers and your fingernail. And go ahead, take your little pick here. You can get in there, you can see how clean that's getting. Something you can't really get with just your fingernails. And because these are polymer plastic picks, it's not gonna mess up your metal or anything like that. There you go. You can even use your picks in here to kind of get some of those weird areas. You don't really wanna mess with the trigger or anything like that too much in here. Uh, it's pretty sealed up nice in this particular firearm, but sometimes you have springs that are showing. Um, don't like get in there and kind of mess around with it too much. You don't wanna break anything, um, but get as much as you can around that area. And again, these picks really help. All right, that's about all you really have to do with the frame. Um, again, you can probably hit this as much as you want. The frame typically isn't too bad. Um, if you wanna go with another patch, you can go ahead and maybe get a fresh coat of oil on here. Just a little dab. Just to see if there's anything at all you might have missed. So might as well jump right into the guide rod right here. It's not that bad. I mean, it's usually typically the one of the more cleaner parts of a handgun. You can see that there, it's really not bad. Um, go ahead, hit it with a wipe. Um, what I like to do actually is find a clean part on your cotton ore. You can go ahead and just grab a fresh one. Honestly, this is probably overkill, but it's worth it, I think. Go ahead and stick your fingernail in one of the springs with fresh oil and just spin. You can see there's a little bit in there and that actually runs your fingernail up onto the metal part of the guide rod, which helps get every piece clean, including the spring and the inside of the spring. So you can see where my fingernail was. That's getting nice and clean. So that's good for that. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the slide. Again, I like to recycle these patches as much as I can, but it's really up to you if you wanna keep switching these out, putting old ones to the side, grabbing new ones. You can spray a little bit of fresh oil on there if you'd like. Again, note not to spray any oil into the firing pin channel in there. Always keep your slide kind of slanted down towards the end of the barrel, or it would be. And again, if you're interested in taking your firing pin out, check that thousand round review. Uh, it's just a simple tab. You push in uh, and the slide back plate comes off, firing pin comes out with the whole assembly. But that is something you don't need to clean every time. Go ahead and get a fresh patch. Spray a little bit of oil on there and take your pick. And there's some rails on the inside. You can see right there. Might as well get in there where you have this apart. You can see this part you missed even with run, trying to run your fingernails through. And what's good is these picks not only have the pick side, but they also have a little curve side right here, a little gooseneck piece right here. Um, you can actually use that to your advantage as well. 
kind of hold the paps on it and just wipe down, wipe back up, and go again on this side. All right, you can go ahead and take your pick, clean some of the air out here. If you want, you can get in this little channel a little bit. All right, get down here. Right in there, get some of the crevices out. Don't want any kind of debris in there, especially if you're gonna use this for EDC concealed carry, you wanna make sure you clean this every few hundred rounds or every time you go to the range, if you're gonna put a box of ammo or two through it, go ahead and get it a clean. I mean, you don't want your concealed carry dirty in any way. It's good to good for good maintenance. Bolt face up here. Go ahead, take a pick to it, clean it up. There is a little extractor. Let me see if I can show you guys right here, right there. All right, and what you can do with that is I would actually just take a clean pick or a clean patch and your pick and just go ahead. It's gonna be hard to see because it's so small, but go ahead, you can see that there's debris behind the extractor. All right, the extractor is right there. Okay, so if you take a clean patch not a lot of oil because you're kind of messing with that firing pin channel. Go ahead and just clean out behind that extractor. That is a key part. Extractors are very important to obviously extract the round. Who'd have thought? Uh, yeah, no, they're very important to uh, keep clean so you don't have any kind of malfunctions. Get that nice and clean. And don't worry about the external parts here. We're going to get that a nice little buffing with a fresh patch on the end. If you want, you can wipe it down a little bit now but there's so much oil on your hands that it's not a big deal. All right, last but not least, so you're almost there. See, it doesn't take too bad, but what you wanna do is take a fresh patch, and the barrel is typically one of the more dirtier parts. Go ahead and just wipe her down. You already sprayed her down with oil. You brushed her down. So go ahead, wipe what you can. This ramp right here is gonna be very dirty, very filthy. So go ahead, wipe the ramp down. Get into this nook. I end up doing like almost like a, a floss here. You just kind of get in there, clean it up. All right, and now for the new tools here. I already sprayed oil down the barrel, if you recall from earlier. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run, you're gonna go from the chamber to the end of the barrel, never go the opposite and you're just gonna push through. You can see, even with that short barrel, the short rifling you have in there, the rod actually spins, all right, as you push this through. So this first part is just to break up anything that's in the rifling, all right? And now, kind of a trick I've been using for a while, and it does not work with ARs very well because of how small that the barrel is for that almost 223, 22 caliber, and 22s as well, it does not work. Um, it's just too tight of a barrel, but with a nine millimeter and these bigger ones, go ahead and wrap a patch around. All right, so it makes a nice tight seal around that brush and just push through. All right, you see what happens there. You see the gunk in between the rifling coming out on the patch because those bristles are pushing into the rifling and pushing, pushing this patch in. All right, do it again. So this part, you can do as much as you want, okay? I mean, usually a few patches will get it mostly cleaned out, um, but I'm gonna do one more. It doesn't have to be perfect, to be honest. Um, you know, once you get that initial gunk out, you're probably always gonna have a little bit of residue on there. Um, you can put some fresh oil. Go ahead, push another patch through. So you can see it's starting to get a little bit more clean. Um, again, you, all this stuff is subject to how you how clean you want this. I mean, these guns I've shoot I just shoot so much that you know this is just a real basic cleaning. If you want a deep clean for long storage or something, then use as many patches as you need, as much oil as you need. I mean, just get it clean, get it lubricated, you'll be good to go. All right, now if you want, now that I've done quite a bit of work with just the bristles there, the wire brush. You can go ahead and take this push-through, pull-through mechanism here. 
I, I usually do like kind of a T through there, put a little oil on each side, and I push through it, all right? You can actually, with this, because it's not very tight, I'll go back, you can go forth, it's not a big deal. Um, sometimes you can kind of double over, fold over the patch, try to push it out, but you can see there's not a lot left anyways. So that part actually brings me to the next point on the lubrication part. You can see there's not much dirt left, and I already put some fresh oil in that barrel, so that part is good. So this patch is still kind of clean from that oil. Um, go ahead and you, what you do is you're gonna go ahead and take the fresh oil that's already on there. You're gonna wipe down your barrel and you're gonna put it aside. All right, same thing over here. You're gonna wipe down your spring and guide rod assembly, put it aside, and right, get a fresh patch, a little bit of oil, just a little bit. Go ahead, hit your slide some fresh oil. All right, you can hit the outside at this point too. And you want to leave a very thin residue of oil on everything. Um, if you want, you can wipe some of the oil off on the external parts, but on the inside you can leave a thin bit of oil and honestly most of it's coming off anyways, but that is kind of the trick. So that's there. And lastly, the frame little bit of oil and hit this again see if you missed anything especially these metal rails right here all right you can see there's a little bit that I might have missed there get in there top side bottom everything just one more pass all right frame you can wipe down a little bit trigger if you want there you go all right so what I like to do now is I'll take a clean patch and I'll go ahead and just wipe the majority of this oil off. All right, because we're going to lubricate certain points anyways. Uh, of course, your gloves are kind of messy, so it's going to have a little bit of residue popping on there anyways. You can take your gloves off at this point if you want. Or if you don't have gloves on, go wash your hands. <laughs> Get some of that dirty oil off before you start putting clean oil on. All right, quick wipe down. And I'm going to take my gloves off for this next part. So gloves are off, we have this CLP little dropper right here. All right, and what we're gonna do, now that this is kinda wiped down, it's pretty dry, I mean there's a little bit of residue on there, but what I'm gonna do is you'll see there's actually wear marks, okay? So what I wanna do is put a little drop right here, right there, a little drop, if I can, there you go. Maybe a little bit too much, that's all right. A little drop where those wear is, so you're right on the top of the slide right there, right here, where that silver is, I put a little bit along this edge, just a little. All right, there's a nice thin, thin film drop there. All right, for the barrel, you can see there's some wear marks. Once again, a little on the top, a little on the bottom, a little on the lockup right here. All right. Kind of going to the reassembly at this point. There you go, so how the spring goes back in, barrel drops in, fat end towards the end of the barrel. Make sure she seats into this hole right here, and just a little bit of pressure to put that spring leaning up on that plate against the barrel right there. All right, slide is lubed up, ready to go. Frame, all right, frame, rails. Some very important, again, Thin drop of oil there, you can, you'll be able to work in. Don't think it has to be totally covered, you'll work it in later. So, something to note, all right, this is kind of tricky. So let's say if you hit this, and this goes up like here, and it's wobbling, right? And you can't get it back down to a 90 degree. What you're gonna wanna do, push your slide release up, get this back down to 90 degrees, all right? Now, to reassemble this, SIG made it easy, however, it does have some quirks. There's some pieces back here that like to stick up sometimes. All right, so what you're gonna do, put it back on your slide. All right, you're gonna check the back here and make sure none of these little parts are sticking up. You can kind of just push them down just in case. And then as you go and pull it back, that lever will pop back safely, all right? Now, if you want, I typically grab one more patch 
you can wipe the outside off, especially if you're, if you're concealed carry. You don't want to have oil all over your gun, making any risk of it being too slippery when you need to actually draw this thing. All right, so go ahead, wipe her down, especially on the back here where those rails are. There's gonna be some extra oil on there. And I'd actually run her, function test. And that's it. You can kind of see a little bit of oil kind of leaking on the back there. So that is it guys on the cleaning of the SIG P365. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful, especially for you new shooters out there. These are not that complicated to clean. They're in their course smaller, less real estate, makes it easier to clean, less wipes being used. All great things. If you have any questions at all, as always, hit them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Anything you've seen on this video will be down in the comments below. Most of it can be bought right on Amazon. And of course, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. I tend to put all the latest ingredients and deals on the internet on Facebook. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next review.